Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video today and welcome back to League 2 predictions. Um, the first bit of week coming up, you know what I try and do, try and predict every result um, for this midweek fixtures. So guys, you know what to do, subscribe for more, thanks for watching and let's go. So the first game I'll kick off with is Cambridge versus Scunthorpe. Cambridge coming away 2-1 winners away at Colchester. Scunthorpe 2-2 two -two against Crawley. Um, let's go for the Cambridge game for this one. Cambridge picking three points up away at Team Lock Colchester. Probably a little bit surprising for some. Um, but I got the three points at Colchester, so fair play to you, Cambridge. And I've gone with a 3 0 Cambridge result for that one. My next one is Cheltenham versus Carlisle. Carlisle. Uh, losing 2-0 to Mansfield and Cheltenham Town drawing 0-0 with Morecambe. Um, let's go 0-0 with Morecambe, uh, Cheltenham Town. Cheltenham drawing 0-0 with Morecambe. Uh, I think that's a fair result overall. Um, you know, it's a long season. Plan away to Morecambe ain't the easiest place to go to in the lower league, so fair play to Cheltenham for that. But for this game, I've gone for a 2-1 Cheltenham win. My next one is Crawley Town versus Crew Alexander. Crawley drawing 2-2 with Scunthorpe. And Crew Alexander beating Walsall 1-0. Let's go to the Crawley game for this one. Crawley going to Scunthorpe picking a 2-2 result. Um, no disrespect, Crawley. I'd probably expect a little bit more. Um, you know, the three points to come away with at least, uh, especially a team like Scunthorpe. No disrespect to Scunthorpe. Just where you are in the table, you know, Crawley do look like to be in that sort of like mid-range sort of t team. So, um, but I'm not really happy with that result if I was a Crawley fan. Crawley fans, if you're subscribed, please feel free to put your comments down below about that result. Um, but for this one, I've gone for a 2-2 scoreline for that one. My next one is Grimsby Town versus Colchester. Grimsby Town losing 1-0 to Forest Green. And Colchester losing 2-1 to Cambridge. Considering I spoke about the Cambridge game, let's go to the Grimsby game. Um... Forest Green losing 1-0 ain't a bad result, um, you know, as far as I'm concerned. But for this game, I've gone with a 3-0 Grimsby win. The next one is Macclesfield versus Morecambe. Macclesfield beating Northampton Town 2-1 and Morecambe 0-0 with Cheltenham. Consider I spoke about Cheltenham, let's go to the Macclesfield game. For this one, coming away 2-1 winners up at Northampton Town. Um, fair reflection of the game, uh, you know, and probably what Macclesfield supporters were expecting. So for this one, I have gone with a two-line Macclesfield win for that one. My next one is Mansfield versus Lake Norian. Um, Lake Norian nil nil with Stevenage, and um, Mansfield two nil winners up at Carlisle. Not a bad result for Mansfield. Um, let's leave the Lake Norian one to get to the Stevenage game, which will be literally in a couple of minutes at least. Um, not a bad result for Mansfield up there. So for this one, I have gone with. A 2-1 scoreline for Mansfield. The next one is Oldham Athletic versus Exeter. Oldham losing 3-0 to Bradford. And Exeter 1-0 at Swindon Town. Um, let's go Exeter for this one. Um, Exeter losing, uh, not losing, sorry, drawing 1-0 with Swindon Town this previous weekend just gone. Um... Swindon, now I'm trying to look at this from an Exeter's point of view. Exeter fans, you know better. Are you happy with the point? 
and you know please feel free to put your comments down below if you support any of these clubs please feel free to put your comments down below um but for this one i have gone with a 4-0 exeter win the next one is plymouth Argyle versus salford um Plymouth for goal, losing 1 0 to Newport, and Salford 1 0 at Port, uh, Salford drawing 1 0 Port Vale. Let's go to the Salford game for this one, and um, my next one we'll go, yeah. Um, Salford 1 0 against Port Vale. I know it is a late equaliser, so you've got to be happy with that, but Port Vale. Um, you know, they're probably happy with the point. If I was a Sulphur fan, I'd probably be looking for the, all three points for that one um, against Port Vale. But for this one, I've gone with a 3-2 Plymouth Argyle win. My next one is Port Vale versus Forest Green. Now, let's go to Port Vale. I mean, I just spoke about the Port Vale side, so let's go to Forest Green. Um, Forest Green, 1 0 winners at home to Grimsby. Uh, I suppose you are happy with that, the three points in the bag at least. So, considering I've already spoke about this game, I ain't got beat around the bush with this one. I've gone with a 3 1 Forest Green win. My next one is Stevenish versus Bradford. Now, Bradford beating like, um, Oldham 3 0, and Stevenish 0 uh, 0 with Lake Norian. Let's speak about Bradford at home in their winning result against Oldham. You're probably expecting it, Bradford fans. You know, um, what I've heard from you, and I know I say this week in, week out, is that you're expected to be up there with Salford and promotion teams. So, with this one, I have gone with a 3 0 Bradford win. My next one is Swindon Town versus Northampton. Swindon Town drawing one all with Exeter and Northampton Town 2 1. Consider I spoke about Macclesfield literally not so long ago. Let's go back and talk about Swindon Town point away at Exeter. Um, I don't think that's a bad point for Swindon. Um, you know, I think if I'm not too mistaken, I'll probably expect Swindon to be in that playoff gap come the end of the season but with this one I've gone with a 3-0 Swindon win my last one for the midweek games is Walsall versus Newport Walsall losing 1-0 to Crew Alexander and Newport winning 1-0 over Plymouth Argyle let's go to Newport um, Newport excellent result against Plymouth Argyle um, you know you've got all these big uh, you know, especially teams look at Newport and thinking they do so on the FA Cup runs. Um, so, you know, you can't take them easy. Getting a 1-0 up against Plymouth, uh, winning 1-0 against Plymouth, I should say, ain't a too bad result. Um, Walsh, on the other hand, will be looking to bounce back with the 1-0 defeat to Crew Alexander, which is why I've gone with a 2-2 result for that one. Um, but, guys... End of my midweek. If you're on the road, please have a safe journey. Give us a big fat thumbs up if you enjoy it. So, guys, I'm going to bring this video to an end. Guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.